So the iPhone 10 is almost all screen and that is great. But with that we lose the home button and instead we get actually a pretty neat way to go home. But in order to do that you have to learn a couple of gestures and commands and then a few physical buttons that are remaining take on a couple of different roles. So in this video I want to show you some of the gestures on the iPhone 10, how all how they all work, and um, what you can do with some of these buttons that we actually have left. So most simple is actually going home. All you have to do is just simply swipe up and your home, it's that easy, really not much to it. So how do you get to the app switcher? Well, it's very similar to going home, but you just swipe up, stop, let go, and then you are in your app switcher. We can go ahead, pick our app, and that's about it. Now, what if you want to get that reachability feature that we used to have on previous iPhones where you double touch the home button and the screen will come down? Well, if we go into the accessibility settings and enable reachability, all you have to do is just swipe down on the little home stripe and you get your reachability feature right back. And you can even pull down notification center, control center, all that sort of stuff with reachability. Now, if you want to switch between apps super fast, and this is something I love and use all the time, all you have to do is just swipe left and right across the home bar. So we just swipe across and we can go from app to app. It's super convenient, super fast. Another way to do this is to swipe up and then kind of over. It's not the easiest way. I just prefer swiping across the bottom and it works great. And now quitting apps, you may think it's the same, but it's actually not. If we go into our app switcher, we swipe up on an app, it actually takes you home. So we're gonna need a different way. It's actually kind of frustrating and I wish they would change this in a future version, but you actually have to tap and hold on the app until you get your little minus sign. And then you can click the minus or you can still swipe up on it like you used to be able to with all of your other iOS devices. So then how do you access Control Center if you swipe up? Well, on the right side of the earpiece, you will just swipe down to get your Control Center. It's that easy. Notification Center is on the left side of the um, earpiece or you can swipe down right in the middle of the earpiece that'll still get you your notification center. Now our physical buttons have changed a little bit as well. Your lock button works the same as it always did but if you press and hold it it will now activate Siri instead of actually turning the device off. In order to turn it off you have to hold the lock button now called the side button and one of the volume buttons at the same time and that will give you a turn off menu. You can also go through settings to turn it off. But what about screenshots? Well, you press the volume up and the lock button at the same time, and that will then take your screenshot. And now finally, what if your iPhone is not responding and you need to force turn it off? Well, it's a little bit different this year. You press volume up, press volume down, and then you hold the power button. So that's how you force turn it off. It's a little bit weird, kind of different, but there you go. That's how you do it. But those are all of the major um, changes to how you navigate the phone. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll get back to you. Let me know if you want to know any more about the iPhone 10. We only had it for a day, so still learning it along the way. This is Mark, and I'll see you in the next one.